Once upon a time, I was driving and ran out of petrol. Then I thought, why not have a vehicle that runs without petrol? Then I picked up my scissors and cardboard and thought, why not make a prototype out of it? After that, I prepared a structure, stuck my motor on it, and attached two tires to it. I was continuously using the glue gun when suddenly many thoughts started coming to my mind. Why not make this motor fly in the air? But anyway, no worries. Let's just do a small task for now. That's why I was cutting and joining parts of the structure, one by one, step by step. And I knew that strength was very important, so I carefully glued it onto the cardboard. You all must be seeing how much effort is going into this. So, if you ever face a problem like mine, like running out of petrol, you can also build this structure. This is like a DC rickshaw in a way. Which, in today's modern age, we also call an electrical vehicle. The biggest advantage of electrical vehicles is that they don't pollute the environment. So, let's go ahead and add a third tire. Carefully, very gently. All right, let's cut the front structure. One by one, I'm molding and joining everything, as you can see. I've put two tires at the back, each with a motor, and added one tire at the front, which is freely connected. Let's make the driver's seat in the front too. So, to see the driver, I've made a small cut and arranged the cardboard at the front, so you can easily see the driver. I'll stick the rest of the things slowly as well. And then we have to make a top, which is the roof. Let's put the roof on top and see. Wow. Everything's looking good. Let me wiggle it around a bit. Hmm. Nice. Let's give it a slightly better finish. Look, this is getting exciting. I'm really enjoying this. What about you all? If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to check out our channel. So I thought, why not make it wireless? And for that, I used the RF module from my car. You've seen the RF module video, right? If not, go check it out again. I've properly connected the two wires from the RF module to the motors then connected it to the battery. I've also added a 104 number capacitor to both motors to avoid any back EMF issues. After connecting and sticking each part correctly in the right place, now I'm going to test drive it. Where did my transmitter and remote go? All right, let's press the joystick. Wow, it's running so well, no need for petrol. So why don't you all also watch this and make one just like it? It won't pollute the environment, has a lot of energy, can run for a long time, has good speed, and is even better than petrol. Everything about it is great. I'm really enjoying this, friends. If you're enjoying it too, then hit that subscribe button.